What's going on everybody? It's Lawrence Dumas. I want to welcome you guys to the Champion CEO Show right here on Visions Travel TV. Today guys, I have a very special training that I'm going to be doing. It is going to be talking about creating exponential growth using a business model known as membership driven organization. And we're going to be touching on some very fundamental tools that include basic math. Now guys, this training is essential in building business whether you are seasoned whether you are a novice or you haven't even thought about biz business building this video is going to point you in the right direction and give you some core tools that can help you if applied right so guys grab your drink your pen your paper we're going to pay some bills and we will be right back right here on the champion ceo show here on visions travel tv see you Welcome back. Let's go ahead and jump right into this thing. Uh, so what we're going to be talking about today is creating exponential growth using the membership driven organization business model, right? Uh, it's given us foundational tools for potential massive growth in your very own membership driven organization. Word of the day. Now, what will we discuss? We're going to talk about what is membership driven organization how are members important in building business, how to use projection in building business, the power of transactional thinking and the seven slash six figure income secret, the power of leverage for exponential growth, the matrix of, matrix of exponential growth, business volume, commissionable volume, and lastly, we're gonna conclude with learning about the money jar system, which is a tool for financial stability. All right, let's go ahead and jump into this. First thing we're going to start off is with this amazing quote um, that actually comes from the Bible. Um, and it comes from Proverbs 4, 7. Wisdom is the principal thing. In all thy getting, get an understanding. Now, this pretty much is self-explanatory, but the importance of understanding allows you to be able to execute. When you are able to execute, guys, you have no issues with achieving success. So now, this is the beautiful thing about this. I'm sure by now you are asking, what is membership-driven organization? Well, we're going to learn this. A membership-driven organization is an entity whose continued operation relies on the steady addition of members to programs and services which the entity offers, right? So can you think of any membership-driven organizations? First one comes to mind for me is Facebook. Facebook is driven by memberships. Then Instagram is driven by memberships. Amazon Prime, T-Mobile, DoorDash. You can buy a membership with DoorDash and get exclusive deals and discounts for being a member. Now, how is membership essential in business building? Memberships help to create culture, community for customers, and team members, right? Memberships help to maintain a business's financial growth, as well as memberships allow for businesses to continue innovation, provide more experiences that create stability in their selected market. Now, one company that I really like that really exemplifies the, the power of membership is Apple. Now, Apple has various products and services that are attached to memberships. iTunes has a membership, right? Apple TV has a membership, right? So as they continue with the memberships, they are constantly adding products and services, songs and, and films and different things like that, which allow you 
to be able to always have an option as being a member. Now, let's jump into some, some tools that are essential to building your membership driven organization. The first one is projection. Now, projection pretty much is a forecast of where you want your business to go. Now, projection in the in the sense of this particular topic is based around your members, your revenue, and your bonuses. You can actually plan out in time from minutes to years of where you want to see your business and pretty much what it breaks down to when you use projections in building a membership driven organization you are giving yourself a reachable goal and we call it in the sales industry uh, you are dissecting your cow to be able to eat your cow and not waste any parts of the cow right now let's move forward we're going to talk about the power of transactional thinking. Every new membership can be classified as a transaction. And the transaction is the transfer of emotion between you and the individual that found value in the products and services that you offer. Now, this first formula we're going to look at is one that's been used by sales professionals over the last 20 years. And I personally have used this process and I've made quite a bit of money and I didn't realize what I had in my hands and I've seen it help young people and older people alike make a serious amount of money in a short amount of time. Now, the next thing that's connected to transactional thinking is this right here, the six slash seven figure income secret. And I'm gonna grab my phone, guys. And we're back. And we're gonna do some math, right? And I know you might wanna hang up, uh, cut this off, switch the channel, throw your TV out the window, throw your phone across the, across the car, whatever. Uh, hit your child with it. But guys, check this out. This secret is one that banks use. This secret is what your six-figure, seven-figure business owners use to generate income. Now, you see that formula right there, guys? That formula, T times P equals dollar sign is based in algebra. It's based in calculus. Math is a very essential part of business building. And when you have the concepts and the ideas, you are more prepared. But we're going to look at a number and I want to show you the power of transactional thinking. Let's take that number, 14,285. 14,285 transactions over the course of a year, right? At a profit margin, times a profit margin of $35. And profit margins is the money that goes into your pocket after all bills are paid. So if you got your calculator, or if you're old school and you got a pen and piece of paper, or a pencil and piece of paper, go ahead and add that number up and type in the comment section what it is that you see. And that number that I got was four. Four hundred thousand, four hundred ninety-nine thousand, nine hundred and seventy-five dollars. That, ladies and gentlemen, is the foundational tra a formula for six figures. Isn't that amazing? I feel like that is phenomenal. Now, you might say, Lawrence, I don't see myself making that much money uh, in a year. That's great. You might need an extra $500. You might need an extra $1,000. You might need an extra $2,000. Just to get into a place where you are comfortable. This very, trans, this very formula can help you do that. What I want you to do is I want you to see the potential because what I'm doing is setting you up to understand exponential growth. Now, let's remove that 35. Let's change that 14,285 to 14, 
286 and do it at a I know I have 14 285 but I learned something in the midst of it as I was thinking I want to show you seven figures I want you to be able to see seven figures and what seven figures looks like in this formula and let's keep that profit margin at 70 that's one million twenty dollars that you can make in a year you can make it in a month there are companies that's making it in a month Tesla makes a million dollars in a couple of months. Elon Musk is not a billionaire because he's because he's only making a couple hundred dollars a day. You know, he's making thousands upon thousands of dollars a day using transactional thinking. Transactional thinking helps you to get laser focused and to be able to approach your clients and potential clients and business partners with a fervent and a grounded plan of action to reach the numbers that you want to reach. These build upon each other. So guys, I've given you that. And the beautiful thing is you can always come back to this video. A ver, a ver, a ver. Hmm. Vámonos. I just got an idea. Watch this video. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to look at the power of leverage for creating exponential growth. Now, when we talk about the power of leverage, we're talking about using the tools of multiplication and duplication to help members become business partners. I feel that when you are able to turn members into business partners, you are now ready for this concept that I am going to share with you and that I've shared with countless people when I was a manager in the wireless industry and in the sales industry, and I've shared with people how to leverage their time. I learned from Robert Kiyosaki there are four types of people that deal with money and that are working. You have the employed, you have the self-employed, you have the business owner, and you have the investor, right? The, the employee trades their, their labor for an hourly pay, and they reach burnout, right? The self-employed, they work for themselves, but they are still trading their labor for an hourly rate, and, but they still reach burnout. The third type of person is the business owner. The business owner invests into a system and they hire people who they pay for their time. The last person, and that, that's where I am striving to be and I'm striving to help others be, is the investor. The investor leverages other people's time, other people's money, other people's systems, and they help them to grow and build by sharing the wealth of information and knowledge or investing financially into them. And they actually can be on the foundational plane of exponential growth. Now, it breaks down to this. I would rather benefit from the work of 100 people's efforts versus 100% of my own. Think about that. As I said before, you have the self the, the, the employed person and the self-employed person. I've been both. I was in the United States Army. I was an employee of the United States government. I only had a certain level that I could reach unless I gained rank. So there were days where I was working and I was doing way more work than what I was getting paid. Then I became self-employed 
as a licensed massage therapist. I was phenomenal. I loved it, but I burned out. And I still do massages periodically, but I burn out because I'm only one person. And if I don't work, I don't get paid. But if my body hurts, guess what? I can't get it done. Now, check this out, guys. If I had five people that are massage therapists that are working for me on the days that I can't work, and I'm getting a percentage of what they do, right? What does that do for me? That allows me to get the rest that I need. That allows me to spend time with my son, to spend time with my lady, to spend time with my mom and my family members. That allows me to get studying done. That allows me to get housework done. That allows me to rejuvenate, to be able to do more massages in the week or to do um, other things in the week. And I'm not burning myself out and my team is not burning their self out because I'm going to show them, and we're gonna to move to the next slide as I say this, I'm going to show them how to do what it is that I do and get people to work with them and partner with them so they can get a percentage of what they are doing. This is about creating economy. This is about creating community. This is about creating culture, right? And this is about sharing the wealth of knowledge to others that are fully capable or they might not know that they're capable, but you show them, hey, you can do this. It's the matrix of exponential growth. The ability of teaching others to use these tools allows an entrepreneur to leverage their time by receiving a percentage of the other's works. Now, let's look at how does this matrix works. And it's simple. U plus two equals the beginning of exponential growth. Now, just keep it in mind, 100% of your own work or a percentage of 100 people's work. Which one would you rather? Let's just look at this, how this works. So you're up on top in this first section and you get two people. Now that's three people doing the work of one person, but they're each learning how to get more people. Now those two people go get two people. Now you have seven people, which is including you doing the work of one. But you're receiving percentages. The people that you taught are receiving percentages. And now they're teaching their people how to go get people so they can get percentages, right? And this is all based in products and services. This is not me get two people, take their money, not give them a service, not give them a product because that's illegal. What I'm talking about is showing people how to build business, showing people how to grow exponentially and to leverage their time and their money by helping others do the same. Now, those two people that your two people get, they get people. That's eight people that they, that's totally brought in that you're going to receive a percentage from. But before we can get to the money aspect, I want to talk to you about something that's pretty phenomenal. It's called business volume. Now, any job that you work in, if you work in retail, there is volume that's attached to that job. Every piece of product that you sell has a volume to it where your company gauges how do we pay our representatives? How do we pay our managers? How do we pay our security, how does everybody eat? So there are five or six people that receive a percentage of money and they don't even realize that off of that shirt that was sold or off of that bedding that was sold, right? I think that's pretty cool. But what we're gonna learn today is we're going to learn how to use business volume to project commissionable volume for your partners. Because what you want to do is take the members that have bought in to your business, right? And you want to show them how to become businessmen and businesswomen, right? Now, every dollar earned in your company has a value. This value is known as what? Second word of the day, business volume. Say it with me. Type it in the comments, write it down, open up the window, scream it out, business volume. I love it. 
Because this right here changed my life, right? This right here put me in a position to see more money than I've ever seen in my life. But I wasn't, I didn't know how to manage money. And we're going to talk about that a little bit later. So I was making the money, but I wasn't managing the money. And the money was like, gone. But business volume normally has a one-to-one -one ratio. So every dollar sold is 1% or one point of business volume. Let's look how we convert business volume into commissionable volume. Here's more math. Here's algebra right here, right? BV times percentage equals CV. So let's just say you sell something and you bring a member in. They join your team, they join your, they, they, they get your product, they get a membership, and they spend $100. Now, 20% of that $100 goes back into the company. It's non-commissionable, right? Non-CV, non-commissionable volume. How do you figure out what's left over? You take that percentage, you turn it into a decimal, then you multiply it with BV. So that would be 100 times 0 0.20 is going to leave you with 80 CV. That's 80 points or $80 of commissionable volume to be able to pay all the people that I was saying before, to be able to pay the people that are in your matrix, to be able to pay yourself, to be able to receive your income. So now this is helping you transition into understanding how to be a salesperson. Being a salesman, a saleswoman, there is not an issue with it. We sell every day. Now, check this out, guys. Let's convert that CV into cash. This is my favorite part. I, I said that was my favorite part, but this is my favorite part. Actually, this whole training is my favorite part, but you didn't hear that from me, but you did. But you didn't. But I'm going to say it again. This is my favorite part. I'm so excited because I've seen how this training and this system and this type of model has changed people's lives and helped people get out of debt, right? Help people to, to retire their family, to retire their parents, to send their kids to the best school, to, to allow their wives to stay home, to bring their husbands home. I've seen it. So let's look at how we how we convert CV into commission. So it's another math problem, right? Math is in everything that we do, right? In the real world, we need math. We use math when we don't even realize it. So percentage times CV equals commission per transaction. Now, let's just say the the we're gonna keep that 80 CV and we're gonna have a percentage of 10%. So we convert that 10%, right, to a decimal. So that's 0 0.10 times 80 CV. That's $8. So for every eight, for every $100 that is made in the company by you, that's $8 that you're going to receive for yourself, right? That's $8 that's going to go into your pocket, right? Now, that might not seem like a lot, but this is the thing. The BV percentage and the CV percentage can vary depending on products and services offered and what you said. If you're joining a company that uses these things, you are able to come in with a leg up and to get moving a lot quicker to create momentum a lot quicker because you understand you're able to take their percentages, you're able to take their CV, you're able to put it in, put the system together to see exactly what it is that you have to do, and then you're able to run and move. Now, the money is in the matrix. You know that song, money, 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 money? That's a free singing song right there. I'm not going to charge y'all for that. But the money is in the matrix, and I'm about to show you right now. Now, how does CV work with the matrix? We go back to our U plus 2 equals the beginning of exponential growth. You're on the top, right? If somebody brings you into there, it brings you in with them, uh, you're, you're coming in, they'll be above you. So they will receive percentage off of the things you do, right? Or if you bring people in, you're going you're gonna to receive percentages off of what they do. 
And anybody can make money. It's based on the work that they do. They must be coachable, teachable, and trainable and come in with the, with the intent to duplicate the system. Now, let's just say your two people, they make two sales, right? You're going to get 8% CV off of those, off of those sales. They get 10%, you get 8% of that same $80. Because that 80, remember that 80 is commissionable volume. Now, on your first level, you, you get $8. So for every person that you bring in personally, that you show this system to, that you teach how to duplicate, you would get $8. And this is an example, right? This is not a guaranteed structure or anything this is not connected to any program or anything this is just an example to show you the potential right and it goes back to you being coachable teachable and trainable and it goes back to the work that you are willing to put in to make your dreams a reality now let's look at the seven your two people get two people now you're gonna get 8% for your two people that you recruited and trained. And then you're going to get 4% for the people they bring in because you're going to help them recruit and train the people that they come in contact with. And you see the numbers. On the first level, you get $8. On the second level, you get $6.40. On the third level, you get $3.20. Right? I think that's pretty awesome to be able to go back to the beginning where you get a piece of a hundred people's different work. Let's say those two people, those those four people that your two people brought in, they go get two people. Now on that third, that fourth level, you're gonna get two percent. Those little fractional increments of of or percentages add up if you're constantly working constantly building constantly helping people learn how to build their business how to properly uh move the products and services how to set their projections how to determine what it is that they want to accomplish in life you are going to see a consistent flow of income known as residual income month in and month out. I've watched people do it for over the last 30 years. My father has done it. I have cousins that have done it. I have close friends that are still doing it right now. They wake up and they get paychecks. If you've ever if you if you pay attention to the music industry, if you pay attention to the film industry, if you pay attention to artists, artists are, are benefiting from this and they're not even bringing other people in and if you're in that type of field I have trainings and things of how to how to evolve that to make this system work for you but pretty much what I'm showing you family champions is the sky is the limit right now once you since we've learned how to do projections. We've learned transactional thinking. We've learned the matrix. We've learned that the money is in the matrix. We've learned that U plus two equals exponential growth. Now we want to do is establish a solid personal money use system, right? Because the ultimate goal when building business is to get out of debt, leverage time, travel the world, and leave wealth for family, church, and friends. Right? You might say, I don't like my family. I don't like the church. I don't got no friends. Well, you can leave that money to a charity. You can leave that money to someone else. Or you can just live it up. But to be able to have a system in place where you are constantly having money, constantly having income, it's very important. The value of a dollar. Right? What to do with earn income, the money jar system. So for me, this is my, my money jar system. And these are the percentages of what I do. I give myself a hundred percent, right? 
But what I do is I break it down into increments. And I'm just going to run through this and we're going to be closing up. So the first is 10%. That's tithes, right? The second is 10 to 15% for savings, right? And I say savings or investments, right? There's two places that you can do savings and investments. Now, uh, 20 to 25% to secure and maintain your lifestyle. So you don't ever want to live above your means. You don't ever want to live paycheck to paycheck. I've done that. I've had it where I've, I've spent all my money as soon as I got it, and I, I lived on a hope and a prayer for the rest of the month. I've had money. I've had it where I've made $5,000 in two weeks, and by the middle of the, the, the following payday week or the after payday, by that next Tuesday, all my money was gone, and I have nothing but memories, and I barely have those, right? Now, the next thing I, I learned was 20% I pay to myself. So I love to read books. I love to game. I love to, I love to help people. So for me, and I have some investments. I've been learning the, the, the stock market. I've been learning crypto. I've been learning trading, right? And so I've been taking part of my money and I've been investing it. I buy books all the time on Google. I have a lot of books because I'm about personal growth and, and, and building uh, economy and building myself up to be an example for my son, to be an example for my lady, and to help them step into their greatness. I, to myself, have to be great. With that 20%, as you can see on the screen, I've used it, but I also love helping people. I love also being blessings to people. I I had I was home visiting my mom and she was like, you will give the clothes off your back. And I was like, yes, ma'am, I would, because I've been without. I've been in the position of where I haven't had and I needed somebody to give me some help. And there was nobody there to help me. But then I came into a place where I got the help. I've been in a place where I needed a I couldn't pay my rent for six months. And the landlord looked out for me and didn't put me out. And so for me, that changed my viewpoint on being helpful to people. I also do 25, 15% is what I re reinvest back into my business, right? Now that's for products, for tools, for traveling to events and doing meetings, as well as 20% for taxes. Please pay your taxes. IRS gonna show up, they want their money. Child support too, right? Now, the skill of stewardship is learn, develop, and maintain through continual implementation. So guys, we've learned so much today. I've, I feel so good being able to share with you these foundational principles of building and about a membership-driven organization. And I just think it's phenomenal. Now, guess what? You are officially ready for greatness. By implementing these concepts and building your MDO or your membership driven organization, right? There is great potential for success. Nothing, in, nothing is guaranteed, but with hard work, a support team, and these fundamental math concepts, anything is possible. If you look around at the successful business owners and creatives, you will see variations of these principles that are rooted in mathematics and science. Guys, I am so glad you joined me. I am super excited about what's taking place over here at Visions Travel TV. I am super excited about what's taking place in your life and you getting exposed to this video. If you have questions, definitely reach out to me. You can reach out to me at Visions Travel on Facebook, as well as you can reach out to me at the vibespotexperience.net. Guys, I'm Lawrence Dumas. This is the Champion CEO Show right here on Visions Travel TV. I look forward to seeing you soon.